So here's the hand. First things first, as always, we want to make sure that we understand what laterality we are, meaning right or left. So one of the easiest ways to do that is to first figure out the thumb. So here's the thumb. Hopefully you can recognize that it's shorter than the rest of them. And the other thing is then we got to figure out, of course, if the thumb could go here, this is a right, and then if it's this way, it's the left. But the key is to look down here and to look for this little hook. Do you guys see this uh, little hooky dealio? And that's, you're like, oh, that's a hook. That's exactly what it is. This is called the hook of the hammock. The hook of the hammock is always on the palmer side of the carpals. And so by saying palmer side, we know that it's anterior, right? Anatomical position is anterior. So I know that now this is my left hand. So everything that we are going to preface this is going to be left blank, left bone, whatever like that. So let's start with the carpal bones here. And as we take a look at the carpal bones, we notice that we can see an arrangement that they are arranged in two rows of four. If I were to look at this, we have a proximal end. The proximal end does not touch these metacarpals. So these are metacarpals here. If it touches a metacarpal, you are on the distal row. If you are not, you are on the proximal row. So distal, proximal. Do you see that this is distal, proximal, distal, distal, and this guy proximal, of course, because it's not touching a metacarpal. That's the qualifier. And if you understand that, then you just get these names down and you just memorize them in order so that you can answer identify bone correctly. All right, let's start here on the thumb side. This is one that is, we're gonna start on the proximal row and go from thumb to pinky, thumb to pinky, uh, all the way across. So let's start with this guy, this one that's not touching the metacarpal. So of course you look here, here's the metacarpal, this is this bone. That's not the bone we're gonna start with, it's gonna be this guy right here. This is the scaphoid. We're gonna go scaphoid, lunate, tricutral, pisiform. All right, the pisiform kind of always hangs off. You can actually feel it right about here. So scaphoid lunate tricutrum pisiform. All right, so that's those first four bones. Scaphoid lunate tricutrum pisiform. And you can see that the pisiform just kind of hangs off before. The next row is what we call the trapezium trapezoid capitate hamate. All right, trapezium trapezoid capitate hamate. And you always again start with the thumb, trapezium trapezoid capitate and hamate. Hamate always has that hook, so you can always remember if you rest here, you're like, oh, I got the hook. Hook of the hamate, double H. All right, so again, let's do this all in a row. Scaphoid, lunate, tracutral, and then pisiform is that little guy that hangs off. Trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. You could do it on the other side too, as long as you can see which one touches the metacarpals. So if I start with this one, nope, not this, so that's a distal row, this one. Scaphoid, lunate, tracutral, pisiform. Trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. All right. So some people use acronyms to help you with this. The only one that I remember, because all the other ones have faded away in light of this one that sticks in my brain that I cannot get rid of, and that is some lovers try positions that they can't handle. Gives you the first letter of all these bones. Admittedly, it's a little dirty, but you know what? It gets the job done. Problem is this: that often people will remember this. Oh, there's the lover bone. There's no lover bone. All right, they qualify that. It's the lunate, okay? So memorize scaphoid, lunate, tricutro, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. If I do it on this side, same thing. This one's gonna touch the metacarpal, so this is not the row. It's scaphoid, lunate, tricutro, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate, all right? After that, the rest of the hand is very simple. What we have is just the metacarpals, and we just name them. Metacarpal one, two, three, four, and five. Always start with the thumb with being number one. That is fairly simple, and then we just have base, shaft, and head. That's very simple. That's with the rest of these bones here. And then when you get into the fingers, 56 bones, 56 bones are all named. Uh, a quarter of all the bones of our body are just in our fingers and our toes. And so we need a criteria. And the way that we do this is we use six words, all right? Six words. You know you got it right if you got six words here, all right? So first is left and right. We already established that this is the left. So it's left, so that's one word. And then it's proximal, middle, or distal. Proximal, middle, or distal, proximal, and distal. There's no middle in the thumb. So proximal, middle, and distal. So if I were to say these, proximal, middle, and distal. So left, proximal, and then the name is flange or phalanx. Either one, both of them are called the same. They're, that's the name of the bone. So when you say, what kind of bone is any of these? They're phalanx or phalanges. So right, or sorry, left, proximal, phalanx, and then you have to number them of 
and you typically say of the metacarpal one, two, three, four, or five. And the reason why you say of metacarpal four or five, because of course the metacarpals are named, and then it tells you if you're in the hand or foot. And that gives you the qualifier to be able to do 56 bones. So if I tag this one, this would be the left distal phalanx of metacarpal four. You miss one of these words, you're talking, you have two choices between two words. Like if I just said, oh, that's a proximal phalanx five. Proximal phalanx five, are you talking hand or foot? Are you talking left and right? You have four different bones you're talking, so you need six words. Right or left, proximal, middle, distal, phalanx or phalange of metacarpal or metatarsal if you're talking about the foot, and then of the number, one, two, three, four, five. All right, there you go.